China dazzles, India shines, but where is the hidden gold mine of the future? In today's video, we are unpacking how China's incredible boom and adaptability make it an attractive hub for buyers. But at the same time, we will delve into India's vast potential, highlighting its specific services to investors. However, it is not all smooth sailing for India because it faces its personal set of challenges. Let's get started. If you are looking at the global business landscape, China may just be the shining star you are looking for. First, the sheer economic muscle. China has a staggering $18.5 trillion GDP in 2023, with a growth rate of 5.8%. This is not just big, but sprints ahead. And in terms of economic stability, China ranks 41st out of 141 economies. Moreover, China is actively rolling out the red carpet to foreign investors. From easing restrictions on foreign direct investment, think more foreign ownership in insurance and defense, to streamlining how businesses start their operations, China's intentions are clear. And let's not forget China's powerful move to join RCEP, the largest free trade deal covering a huge 30% of global GDP. If we're playing the ranking game, the World Bank's Doing Business 2020 study puts China at a pretty impressive 31st spot, while India sits a bit further down the list at 63rd. Now diving into the digital world, China's been flexing its muscles, especially in tech innovation. Telecommunications, AI, biotech, electric vehicles, you name it, China's making strides. With 1.1 billion folks online as of 2023, they're no doubt the internet's biggest playground. And their commitment? This is mirrored in their $658 billion R&D spendings in 2023, a whopping 22% of the world total. When it comes to tapping into consumer markets, China's absolute numbers are hard to overlook. With a population of 1.4 billion, and an average income of $13,200 per person in 2023, this country is a huge purchasing power country. But it's not just about size. The pulse of this market lies in its middle class, which is growing at an impressive rate. We are talking about 600 million people, making up 43% of the Chinese population, who are ready and eager to spend on quality products and services. India holds its own appeal for investors, especially as we roll into 2023. Let's unpack why. First, it is impossible to overlook India's population of 1.3 billion. That's not just a number, it's a goldmine of opportunities. Imagine that huge market and the reservoir of talent within it. With an influx of young and educated individuals, India is poised to boast of the world's largest working age population by 2027. That's a lot of energy, ideas, and potential customers. Now, talking about momentum, India's economy is racing ahead. With GDP growth forecast to touch 7% in FY 2023, this is one of the fastest climbers in the world. And if you are wary of business scenes, India has rolled out the red carpet for you. The country's jump from 142nd to 63rd in the ease of doing business rankings in just seven years speaks volumes. Dive deeper and you will find thoughtful reforms like GST, IBC, and FDI policy, all fine-tuned to make business smoother and more fruitful. But there is more. India's legal framework is both robust and business-friendly. A well-structured tax system provides an abundance of incentives catering to a variety of sectors and activities. Add to that a legal system rooted in the common law tradition, an independent rule of law, and you've got a solid foundation for any business. Not to forget, India is playing an active role globally, aligning itself with international conventions such as the WTO, CISG, and the New York Conference. In essence, India doesn't just invite businesses, it actively courts them, providing a mix of huge market potential and a conducive environment for prosperity. But India's advantages don't just stop at its vast market and supportive government policies. There's more to the story. Dive into the nitty-gritty of operations and you'll find India's operational costs to be a game-changer, particularly for industries relying heavily on labor. And it's not just about manpower. 
India's resource richness, be it coal, iron ore, or burgeoning renewable energy resources, translates into lower production and transportation costs. Zooming out to the broader picture, the Indian government is making active strides to push its business appeal. Programs like Make in India, Startup India, and Digital India aren't just catchy names. They targeted strategies to amplify manufacturing, kindle the flames of innovation, build a robust digital infrastructure, and harness the country's human potential. Atmanirbar Bharat, in particular, captures India's vision of becoming a self-reliant powerhouse. And to make sure businesses don't miss out, there's a buffet of financial schemes, tax breaks, and infrastructure boosts waiting in the wings. But what is truly electrifying is the startup scene in India. With over 100 startups, India proudly hosted the world's third largest startup ecosystem by 2022. And the money moves too, with a whopping 100 billion US dollars in M&A deals that year. This isn't just about the numbers though, it's a testament to India's innovation culture, the roster of adventurous entrepreneurs, and a tech-hungry consumer base ready to embrace the new. Moving forward, India's advantages extend further into the global scenario. For starters, picture India as a massive global trade corridor. It communicates with networks over long distances and maintains close trade relations with countless countries. The roster includes agreements such as SAFTA, AIFTA, and SICA with Singapore. But 2022 was particularly noteworthy, marking the signing of new free trade agreements with the UAE and Australia. And India doesn't stop there. Trade talks are underway with heavyweights like the UK, the EU, and the US. In addition, let us not forget the much-awaited RCEP, which India plans to ratify in 2023. Now, imagine setting up shop in a new country and seamlessly communicating with its workforce. That's what India brings to the table with its vast English-speaking populace. This isn't just casual conversation. English is deeply interwoven into the nation's fabric, from education to business. It's no surprise, then, that in 2020, India was 15th out of 100 countries when it came to English proficiency. Switching gears to the digital domain, India's been sprinting, leaping from 51st to 48th in just a year. As per the IMD World Digital Competitiveness Ranking in 2020, the nation is fast showcasing its digital metal. Whether it's the booming domains of fintech, edtech, or health tech, India's making its mark. Meanwhile, our neighbor China, while still a digital powerhouse at the 16th rank, is navigating its own digital maze with a more controlled approach, marked by notable restrictions on global platforms. Enjoying this video so far? Smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe. Continuing our journey through India's business landscape, it's worth noting that every promising avenue can have its bumps. And in India's case, these challenges, while navigable, are worth paying attention to. For instance, if you're a business enthusiast eager to start a venture in a market booming with over 1.3 billion potential customers. Yet, like diving into a complex book, India's regulatory framework can be a bit of a tough read. In the World Bank's Ease of Doing Business 2022 report, India sits at 63rd among 190 countries. While it has climbed up the ranks, it's still grappling with things like contract enforcements, property registration, and tax nuances. In fact, a survey by the Confederation of Indian Industry resonated with this sentiment, highlighting regulations as a primary business concern. Now, let's talk about the roads, both metaphorically and literally. Infrastructure forms the backbone of any thriving economy. But India, despite its vast expanse and rich history, faces a few backaches here. Ranked 70th in infrastructure quality out of 141 countries by the World Economic Forum's report, issues range from inconsistent power supply to transportation bottlenecks. And while India boasts a vast young workforce, there's a catch. There's a bit of a mismatch between the skills they have and what businesses need. The National Skill Development Corporation points out that by 2022, India will be in need of a whopping 109 million skilled workers across varied sectors. Yet only a tiny fraction, about 2.3% of this workforce, has had any formal training to equip them with those skills. 
This gap, attributed to factors like education quality and a shortage of vocational training, caps the full potential of India's rich human resources. But it's not just about skills. The socio-environmental landscape has its own stories. India grapples with intricate issues such as poverty, gender disparity, and health concerns alongside pressing environmental concerns like pollution and climate change. For businesses, these aren't just societal issues. They bring about a slew of compliance requirements, from strict regulations to ethical and CSR standards, ensuring they tread carefully in their operations. In summing up our investment insights, China's robust growth and stability have given it a magnetic allure for investors, overshadowing India's immense potential. While both nations offer unique opportunities, China currently leads the race in capturing global business interest. What are your thoughts about this? Let us know in the comments.